Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the area of the shaded region. And for our example, we have a square inside of a square. So basically a square hole in the middle of a larger square. We need to find the area of the shaded region, so the green. We do this by finding the area of the larger outside square and then subtracting the area of the smaller inside square. Let's start by finding the area of the larger outside square. So I'm going to put OS for outside square and this is the complete area of that larger outside square. Let's use the formula area equals a side length squared. So for a square, we can find the area by squaring a side length. For that outside larger square, all of the sides are eight yards. So let's plug in eight yards, so eight squared. Eight squared means eight times eight. So the area of that larger outside square, well, eight times eight, gives us an area of 64 square yards. Now we need to subtract the area of the smaller square. We need to take out the square hole, so to speak. So let's put IS for inside square, and this is the unshaded area. So again, this is a square, so we can square a side length in order to find the area. So area equals, and then all of the sides of that unshaded area, that unshaded square, are five yards. So let's plug in five yards. We have five squared, which means five times five. That gives us an area of 25 square yards. Now we have all of the information we need to find the area of the shaded region. The area of the shaded region equals, well, we take the area of the larger outside square, so 64 square yards, and we subtract the area of the smaller inside square, so the unshaded area. That's 25 square yards. 64 square yards minus 25 square yards gives us an area of 39 square yards. That's the area of the shaded region. So there you have it. There's how to find the area of the shaded region. And for our example, we had a square inside of a square. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.